Our school does not allow the use of alkali metals, so the best we can do is alkaline earth metals to show their reaction with water. Uh, what I have here is a couple of small lumps of calcium, and we're going to put that into some pure water and see that the reaction starts right away. If this had been powdered calcium, the reaction is much more vigorous. It's giving off uh, both hydrogen gas and a decent amount of heat. If we were to put a thermometer in here, you would see that the temperature of the water would be gradually increasing. My calcium metal has been bubbling away for a little while, and now we have what you would normally expect from calcium, the color white. We have made calcium hydroxide. There's still a little bit of the metal in there, finishing out its reaction. What's also notable is that if you touch the beaker, you can tell that the temperature has gone up. It feels sort of like warm bath water now. And that's a result of the energy released when the calcium hydroxide bonds were formed.